I would like to take an opportunity during this interview as well to, for Tom to show us a little bit how actually the dorm staff um, can have uh, accurate information about the students oh, okay. and where they are and what kind of system they use. Um, I was really um, gladly surprised to see that basically a student at the dorm can be tracked at all times. So, Tom, could you explain first uh, sure. what the system is called and explain a little bit about the features of uh, what a daily life looks like in the system? Because Very good, we yeah. I've already explained it like um, verbally, but now everything can be tracked through the system. Yeah. That's right. Right, right now, it, we have here on a system called Reach, which is really some absolutely fabulous software. That really helps us understand where the kids are. But obviously, it's all green right now because all the kids are on campus. It's a school day. And of course, we can see here, even on one student here, it still hasn't had his uh, room checked. So we can see also because, of course, on uh, Sunday uh, morning and afternoon, that's an incredibly important part of the end of school of the school week is that we got to make sure the rooms are cleaned and they've got it all tidied, their clothes are folded. So we can see that there's one student uh, who hasn't had their room checked, but we see the other 92 students are definitely finished here. This gives us an idea about uh, where they are in the school. It's all in a particular color. And then of course, when they go to downtown Victoria, or they might go to the local area of Langford, if they go to uh, the gymnasium just down the road or to golf do other activities we can mark each single time where they are so basically um, if a student goes out does it show in the system it definitely does and we can definitely check uh, because we always say oh hi where are you going and then we find out where you're going and you say oh that sounds like fun today yeah we talk a little bit about oh yeah I've heard some things are on sale there at that store well so they tell us about where they're going and then we always uh, ask them of course to call us at two o'clock in the afternoon to check in right mm -hmm. and then of course call us again at uh, four or six o'clock depending when they want to leave right okay. so every two or three hours we like to get a call back and we get a call back actually on something here called the dorm phone so i actually oh. have the dorm phone here okay. with me today so uh, during those call-in periods it gets pretty pretty busy right so i don't tell them to all to call exactly at two or exactly at four because a lot of obviously will be on the phone so in that range a number of kids will be calling us and hey who are you with and how's the things going okay hey it's i hear it's going to rain pretty soon so be careful okay so we we keep track of kids that way because they're always calling us and so we get in a really good habit so we always know because we really are still very responsible for the kids when they're out you know and they, but we obviously want them to have fun and we've gained the trust with them and them with us that we know that they're going to be all right and they always come back yes, and we're the legal guardians for that there's no no doubt about that and really at the end of a shift at the end of the day that's when I go okay very good they all came back that's fantastic because that really is the priority their safety that they uh, their security and to make sure that we always advise them properly so that they don't get into problems like you know wearing the appropriate uh, clothing when it's uh, cold or when it's raining right a lot of things they might not understand oh it's cold outside no i'm not cold no no it's going to be cold so yes, help yes, them with yes. things like so that so basically um the dorm parents have taken the role of basically the parents at the school so um is their safety and well-being at all times and then there is a system called reach to track that out um, the next question is, uh, Tom, how many students does a dorm parent have in charge? How many students have approximately? Well, that's, that's an interesting question because uh, directly I'm here on the third floor, so I'm with uh, 18 students. You know, potentially I can get up to 28 students, I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, some one year, a couple of years ago, it was actually absolutely full, the entire dorm, right? So I would say I would definitely be in charge of those 28 students, they're the ones I have most contact with. First, second, and third floor are only for uh, young men, and the fourth, fifth, and sixth are for the women. And of course, I don't go up to the fourth or fifth, sixth floor. I don't really have any contact with them in the dorm context. But really, when we're working a shift, we're helping each other out there. In the evening, there could be four, five, uh, six uh, dorm parents working. And of course, we're just 
switching off of each other and taking care of all the kids because we're around the kids and we're going checking how they are in the common rooms, going to see how they're doing in the gymnasium, you know, sometimes if there's five or ten free minutes we might be able to play some sports with them, you know. We're yeah. just doing the rounds and checking that everything's just fine, really. Okay, so the next question is, we, we, we cover the outings and their time and how we monitor and make sure that the students are uh, safely monitored while they're away from the school. And now the next question, you mentioned cleaning. Who does the cleaning in the common areas and then in the other dorms? Well, we have an absolutely fantastic team of housekeeping, really some fantastic people, and they do a great job maintaining uh, the cleanliness of all the classrooms and the dorms, um, and they do laundry. I couldn't believe the first time I came here and I discovered that we even do uh, their clothing for them, you know? In a homestay situation, many times the kids have to do their own washing for the first time. So in this case, they actually get that. So for us, on Monday evenings, we drop off all of our dirty laundry downstairs and there it is Tuesday in the afternoon. Voila, it shows up and it's all done. So they take care of that. But uh, on Sundays, that's really our domain. We start to take care of our own rooms. And I really enjoy being part of the inspection because of my own kids, right? Uh, I get to watch how they're doing. Are they folding the clothes properly? You know, in the past, maybe in their early first weeks, they would grab all their things and throw it into the closet and mm -hmm. shut it up. And I'd say, well, let's go see what that closet looks like and things would be flying up. Mm -hmm. Now they're doing a much better job of hanging things up, yeah. putting it up, just everything in order and, then, and really spraying everything well so it smells really good in the room. You know? So yeah. are, are students really embracing and adapting to that change? <laughs> At the beginning it wasn't so much, but now it's much, much easier. And I try to help them during the week, you know, to not make the room uh, so messy, you know, so that, you know, on Sunday it doesn't become such an ordeal, like an hour, right? It really should take about 20 minutes, right? So just disciplining them to put their shoes away, keep the, 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 the desk area where they might study clear, you know, uh, make sure they're taking out their garbage. So uh, at the end of the week, you know, they're, they might wash out the toilet, uh, clean the sink, check that the bathroom's looking pretty good, because that really is a very important area. And just that the room is basically in order. And I think they've adjusted to that very well, yeah. yeah. So it's, it's learning also um, to become independent. Oh, there's Number no doubt one thing, yeah. that's the value they're learning while they're cleaning their rooms and learning how to fold their clothes and keep everything in order. And number two is learning to be part of a community. So a larger self beyond themselves and being uh, helpful and mindful that we are living all together in a community. There's no doubt about that. I mean, I'd just like to point out that we try to set up uh, so that the person you're sharing with uh, in the dorm, because you share with one other person, is not from the same country you, do, you live in, right? So, of course, Japanese with Mexicans and Chinese with maybe from Vietnam. That's very, very important. Yes. So I would say the basic respect of making sure that your room, your area is clean because you have somebody to share with, right? These are very important values for life, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. Is there any other thing that you, you would like to point out in terms of uh, dorm life and as a dorm parent? Well, I mean, on reflection, I would always say that this is an incredibly rewarding job. And I think um, that you get a lot from it, you know, it's um, the the shifts are quite busy. We're spending a lot of time and, you know, a lot of times it's like a billiard balls, you know, on a pool table, right? You're having quick contact with people, but it's more meaningful when you can spend more time and to hear how they're really doing because, you know, they get homesick. They um, they might uh, be having a problem forming friendships, you know, so that's very important to help them along with that, right? So uh, I, would, I would say really go by the, the credo, the idea that the, the parents are making big sacrifices to bring their kids here. We want the kids to have a very good experience. We want them to be happy, right? And we have to meet their needs. So we have to find that sweet spot as a dorm parent, guiding, mentoring, maintaining some kind of order but also that they're in a great state of mind so that's incredibly important and lastly i would say that that we work very well with the school that the school the administration know what's happening in the dorms we're writing reports daily every night we write a, a short report so the school always knows what's really happening in the dorm life that's very remarkable so um as a conclusion, we want to make sure that our students are learn the skills in order for them to unlock their potential at Brooks West Shore. 
we welcome parents and students to ask us more questions at any time and follow in our social media. So thank you so much, Tom. It's been uh, a pleasure. Yeah, it's a pleasure it's, talking to you. Yeah, thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure. We love hearing from the parents because we keep in contact with the parents. So we, really, the, I think it's maintaining the communication, you know, 24 hours a day. That's, that's the key, right? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Pleasure. Thank you.